Hey, this is Presh Talwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. This problem appeared on a math exam in India for 13-year-olds. Find the sum of all corner angles of a five-pointed regular star. That is, find the sum of A, B, C, D, and E. I thank Nikhil Patro for suggesting this problem. You have to prove your answer. As a bonus, you can find the sum of all corner angles of any five-pointed star. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So how can we solve this problem? I'm first going to show you a method on how you can get some intuition of the answer. It doesn't involve any mathematical calculation, and you can do this for any kind of problem that asks for this value where you need the sum of angles. So here's how you can intuitively get that the answer is 180 degrees. Start by placing an arrow going along one side of this diagram. If you're doing this in practice, you can use a pencil or pen, but make sure it's pointing in one direction so that you know the orientation of this object. We'll now trace this object along the angles of this shape. So just to keep track of everything, the arrow started going from angle D to A, going up like this. So now let's see what happens as we rotate this object through each of these angles. We'll first rotate this object through the angle A. Now we'll rotate it through angle C. So this arrow has moved a total of A plus C degrees. We'll now move it along E degrees. Then we'll move it along B degrees. And finally, we'll move it along D degrees. So now let's compare the start and the end. Well, the arrow is in the same place, except it's flipped upside down. So after the angle rotation of all of these corner angles, the arrow rotates 180 degrees. Hence, the sum of all these angles is 180 degrees. So while this doesn't prove the answer, it does give us some idea of what the answer will be. And from there, you might think that, well, 180 degrees is half of a circle, or 180 degrees is equal to the sum of the angles in a triangle. And both of these insights can help us prove the answer is 180 degrees. So first, let's prove that the answer is 180 degrees for a regular star pentagon. Because of symmetry, we know that this shape can be inscribed in a circle. Furthermore, in a circle, an inscribed angle is equal to half of the angle of the arc it subtends. So this angle A will subtend an arc that's twice as large. So this arc will have a measure of 2a. Similarly, this arc will have a measure of 2b. Here we have 2c. Here we have 2d. And finally, we have 2e. Since a circle measures 360 degrees, the sum of all of these arcs, which will be 2a plus 2b plus 2c plus 2d plus 2e, will equal 360 degrees. Now we just divide by 2 to get the answer. a plus b plus c plus d plus e will equal 180 degrees. So this is a valid proof for a regular star pentagon. But it's not necessarily true for any pentagon because it may not be able to be inscribed in a circle. So how can we prove the more general result? Well, here's how we can prove it for any star pentagon. Take a look at this triangle, which involves the angles B and D. The exterior angle to this triangle is equal to B plus D. That'll be this angle right here. Now take a look at this triangle, which has the angles E plus C. By similar logic, the exterior angle to this triangle is equal to C plus E. That'll be this angle right here. So now take a look at this top triangle. It has angles A, B plus D, and C plus E. So this will be equal to A plus B plus C plus D plus E because it has one copy of each letter. Finally, 
Since the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees, we're done. The sum of the angles in this is a plus b plus c plus d plus e, and it's equal to 180 degrees. Amazing. Now there are many other ways that you can prove this result, and I provided links to some of them in the video description. I encourage you, if you have a creative proof, you can make a video. Please don't email me. I actually don't have time to review all the great proofs that people send me. Even though I do appreciate them, I may not be able to send a reply. Did you figure out this problem? And what method did you use? Thanks for watching. These math videos, which can be watched for free on YouTube, inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they already have over 100 million views. Let's share the beauty of mathematics. With your help, we can math the world a better place. Please subscribe for free to get the newest videos, watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos, email me a puzzle or math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. And if you so choose, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon for exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.